What we call geothermal here, again, I said before, is really ground source tempering or ground source heat pump. What real geothermal is, is we get in Iceland or we can get it uh, down in places in New Mexico. We can get it in places in, in Texas where we really don't need heat either way. But Iceland is probably the most well-known place for using the geothermal that they have. Uh, they use it to create electricity and they use it to create heat for buildings. And, and they, they really are about almost 100% uh, on, on renewable energy and most of that is geothermal uh, and that's a true geothermal that is hot water coming out of the ground a hundred and some to two hundred and some degree hot water coming out of the ground and it's right there to be used well now we can use that we can use that temperature to produce electricity we can use a, a temperature to produce heat and it's just there it's just like laying around waiting to be piped so there are places in in high elevations in New Mexico and in Arizona, and in California, and uh, out in uh, um, Wyoming, and a lot of places like that that have this geothermal at the surface of the, as far as I know, there's no geothermal at the surface anywhere in the Midwest. Would I like that? Yes, I would. I'd love to have a hot spring right outside here and be able to really use the geothermal for my hot tub and my house. Heck yeah, we don't have it. So we really don't have geothermal here in the Midwest. So how do we get a geothermal system? Again, it's advertising. It's not um, a real thing. It's just a, it's just a name.